Chocolate cupcakes are usually filled with butter and eggs, but you've asked for a few vegan friendly recipes. So I've called in my great friend Thomas to show us a gorgeous chocolate cupcake vegan friendly. That's right. It's basically a cake that doesn't use any eggs mm -hmm. and we don't use butter in it, mm -hmm. but it's still a nice and moist chocolate cake. Now, the chocolate that we use is 70% excellence, mm -hmm. and that's actually only made of cocoa mass, cocoa butter, so just cocoa beans, sugar and vanilla. So all I do in here is sift together some dry ingredients, so it's like all into one pot, and yep. I get you to uh, grate some of the chocolates, and then we also chop a bit of the chocolate as well. So baking powder, this is really straightforward. Baking powder and cocoa powder, we sift that together. And then if I can get you to pass me maybe that flour as well, please, we put that in. For you. Thank you very much. And I've just broken them into squares and I'll grate half of this. Excellent. And with the flour, you can easily just substitute this with a gluten-free flour as well. Or use buckwheat or just any other options as well. So we actually use a, a vegetable oil as part of the, the sort of base of the recipe. And you can even use a nut oil as well. So it's beautiful to use something like a macadamia oil or a hazelnut oil as well yeah. for this. So yep. put the sugar in as well. And this is great because it's all, all into one pot. Mix it together okay. and off we go. So we've got some chocolate there that's grated. And okay. like you said, I will use a serrated knife. I'll to... pop this one in as well. So this would be like the base of our chocolate flavour mm -hmm. along with the cocoa powder and then this is really just going to be like the chunks of it mm -hmm. that we go in in the end. So in with our oil. And that's what's going to keep it nice and moist. Yes, absolutely. And then just water. And what's actually interesting as well is you can make a tea. So actually make like a peppermint tea or Earl Grey. Earl Grey. Uh, or even use cold coffee oh, to wow. make this. Then you get the flavour of that come through as well. So this is really just the base of an idea and you mm. can take it any direction that you'd like. You're a wealth of knowledge, Thomas. <laughs> <laughs> in with the chocolate? In with the chocolate. There we go, mix it all together. And there is our batter done. And this is ready to just go into little um, patty pans, I into little muffin you. trays. And then we can get this straight off into the oven. Great. So this makes enough for six patty That's pans. Perfect in amount for six. So nice and generous, three quarters full, and then they'll just sort of do a nice little rise as well. Sure. So in the meantime, I'll get onto a little bit of a ganache or a little bit of an icing, I think, for this oh. as well. I'm just gonna melt a block of chocolate and I just melt that into a little bit of soy milk in this case, but right. you can easily just use oat milk or just straightforward milk yeah. as well. Now, there's so many different plant-based milks on the market now that it makes it easy uh, to change up recipes just like this. That's right. And you can really make that sort of milk like a, a hero as well. And the best thing with this icing to do is just make it and once you have it together, just keep it in a piping bag or in the bowl, just at room temperature, to just sort of set a little bit. So they are ready to go in the oven then. Okay. And then I'll just um, combine the margarine yeah. and our chocolate base together and then we're ready to go. Fantastic. Okay, they're out of the oven, nice and cool already, so we're ready to put a bit of uh, that beautiful ganache on top of it as well. So why don't we just plate up a couple of these? And then you can serve them like this mm. or put a little bit of that rich ganache on just to sort mm. of... Yes, please. There's always room for a bit more chocolate. Yep. And you can spoon this on as well, so you don't need to use a piping bag. And you know me. More chocolate is best, always. Always. That's your rule. <laughs> <laughs> There's no such thing as too much lean chocolate. Mm, I love it. Vegan or not, these are fantastic little cupcakes. I love the colour tones. I should have a taste, right? I think you should. Mm. They're not dry, they're not crumbly, they're just delicious and just enough sweetness. This is just right. Mm. Delightful. I'm glad. <laughs>